No more rent to rent deals. Yeah, look, I know you probably think this is clickbait, but seriously, enough's enough, no more rent to rents. Simon here, the founder of rent to rent 2.0. And about a year ago, one of my mates, uh, he's also one of my digital guys, he said to me, Si, you ain't done a rent to rent for a, a minute, what's going on? And I was like, oh yeah, I ain't done one for like 10 weeks. And since then I've been on an absolute rampage. I've probably done like 25 deals or something mental. And it's just dawned on me that I've basically been doing a refurb constantly for the last, I don't know, year, 18 months. And a lot of the time I'm doing more than one because I'm doing the BRRs, but then I'm also doing any, any one time I'm doing at least two rent to rent refurbs. And my whole team are knackered, I'm knackered, uh, Mrs. is knackered. <laughs> and I just thought it'd be cool to do a video about, you know, how that feels and what my plan is. And I have actually decided, I've decided that I am gonna have a few months where I'm just gonna focus on consolidation, I'm gonna focus on managing the team and optimizing profits. And I think that's just because of where I'm at. Uh, you know, we did a hundred grand of revenue in the month of June and I don't say that to brag, but I'm like, you know, you guys probably know that we're, we're hitting one million pound sales now, but it's gone above that. And it's getting to the point now where some of the deals we did two, three, three and a half years ago now need a second sort of refurb. A lot of my deals now are coming towards the end and we need to have other conversations about the extension and more money needs to be injected. And when I'm doing five, six rent to rent deals in one month, that's 25, 30 grand of investment. And it's eating up a lot of the cash flow. And keep in mind, I've got like 10, 11 staff now in the rent to rent business. So I've decided that for the final quarter of this year, 2022, I'm actually going to back off a little bit um, from doing more deals. And we're going to make sure that we systemize and we make the deals that we've got perfect. Um, and I'm going to put some other parameters in there. I might do one where I'm only allowed to do a new deal because, you know, it's going to be hard for me, right? Um, once I've handed one back. So I'll swap a, a poorer performing deal for a better performing deal. But, but more importantly, I just want to make sure that I'm doing an amazing service to my landlords, to my clients, to my tenants. And I feel like if I can optimize the efficiency, I can probably add 5, 10, 15 grand to the, to the bottom line without increasing the top line. So wherever you are at in your rent to rent journey, you need to have these conversations with you. When is it time to scale? And when is it time to let the cash flow build and compound so that you become a strong foundation company that can invest in a team, that can invest in BRRs, and that will make sure that you stand the test of time. So. You know me, I'll probably change my mind six weeks. So I'll be like, oh, another 10 deals. But I've got um, one, two, three, four. I've, I've technically got five deals I'm doing this month. Um, and it depends when you're watching this, to be fair. <laughs> so I'm doing five deals in August 2022. I've got one or two already lined up for September. And then October, November, December. At the moment, I'm not doing any deals, okay? Um, but stay tuned to see if that happens. I hope you found this useful. If you love the content here, I would just ask you kindly, please subscribe, drop me a review, drop me a comment. I respond to every single one. Um, if you want to know more about Rent to Rent 2.0 and what we do, check out simonsmithonline.com and whatever you do, don't wait 25 years, get creative.